Hello, Earth Signs. Happy October. So, Earth Signs, I'm talking to you. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant Rising. Um, if your Sun, Moon, or Ascendant Rising is of another element, you can listen to that video as well. Or all three, if they're all three are different, however you want to do it. So, I have a couple brief announcements before I get started with your reading. Um... <clears throat> The first thing is I now have Patreon set up, so if you want to support me on Patreon and um, get involved with that and reap some of the benefits of being one of my patrons, then um, go to the link below and check that out and sign up for that. The other is I'm going to be doing a Halloween event um, through Facebook, and so you're invited if you want to join that and get involved with that. Hopefully it's going to be pretty cool. I got some things planned that I'm really excited about. Um, raffling off some really pretty uh, scrapbooking or junk journaling stuff. I'm going to be using a new, to me, tarot deck. It's just one of the cards on there. Let's see, I'll show you a couple of them. There's the devil card. Batons instead of wands. And I'm going to be using also... The Vampire Tarot by Robert M. Place. Big box. There we go. Um, there's going to be some interesting pick a piles there. I'm going to do ancestor readings with um, pick a pile and just a lot more. So um, I hope you'll check out the link for that and sign up if you're interested. That's below as well. Etsy. Um, link that's below too. Got some new stuff on there, some more new stuff. Um, gonna come out soon too. I've got spell kits there at pretty affordable prices. Um, so yeah, that concludes the announcements. Let's jump into the October reading. So I've got a lot of decks here. They're all pre-shuffled. I'm just gonna, I meant to start shuffling them while I was talking to you. I'm just gonna do little quick shuffles while we're talking. Earth signs for October 2019. We're using the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards, the Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards, um, the Oracle of the Mermaids, Zodiac cards, of course, Secret Language of Color cards, um, White Eagle, Medicine Wheel deck, and the Mystic Sea Tarot. If you watch my readings, you know, I, I use a lot of decks. I like to use a lot of decks with a lot of them. So, Earth Signs. Also, I wanted to just take a minute to, I haven't really done this much in quite a while, but I really just wanted to take a minute to thank you and encourage you to give my videos thumbs up when you like them or leave a comment, share them, something so other people can see them and just know that I really appreciate that. I don't, I don't think I've said that enough recently, um, but I do. So it's nice to get a response and know. Um, that you liked it, that it resonated. Okay. Earth signs, sun, moon, ascendant, rising signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, October. Something going on with communication. Definitely. We've got air and mercury showing up. Could be travel for some of you as well.
Okay, so your theme cards first, and then I'm going to do um, an approximate week by week for each week of October. <clears throat> we have Taurus, the second house, showing up reversed, and then we have Mercury along with Air. Air is from the Mermaid deck. It reads, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies. So happy um, half birthdays, Tauruses that are born, born in April. We have Willow. And we have Mother Mary, expect a miracle. This card reads, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. <clears throat> I'm going to read Willow out of the booklet as soon as I find the page for it. Okay. So show your respect for all forms of life because this will help you to build a deep and lasting relationship with everything around you. Spread harmony and understanding and treat others in the way that you would like them to treat you. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost something in my throat. I'm going to put down a couple tarot cards too for your theme. Three of Swords, and Queen of Cups, Fascination. All right, so <clears throat> towards the end of October, we get into Scorpio season. The Queen of Cups could represent a water sign such as Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces in your life, or it could be referring to um, those energies, the energies of the 8th house, the 4th house, the 12th house, or those signs within your own chart could also be your own energy. Um, this is a card of emotions and emotional maturity. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Hopefully the glare is not too bad. I realize there might be a little glare on these cards. We have so there's a lot of blessings that come with these cards there's also um, advice um, to be really mindful about how you're treating others this month okay treat others the way you want to be treated it's it comes up twice um, so compassion, sympathy, and treating others well in the way you would like to be treated is really going to go far. So the Queen of Cups here, um, she's generally a, a loving, warm person, a healer, very intuitive, um, supportive. It's about emotional security. It's about being open and honest about your feelings, too. It's one of her messages. And we have Mercury here, so there might be some communication needed and voicing and expressing of how you feel um, about a situation, um, about a connection with another. It could be romantic, but it's it could, you know, be any relationship where your emotions are involved. Um, it's a card of happiness, okay, romance imagination, daydreaming. And then we have um, Taurus showing up reverse here. I think this is really interesting. Some of you may be Tauruses. Um, so when the cards from the Zodiac show up reverse like that, um, it indicates a blockage or an imbalance to me. And it shows up usually so you can work through it. Some, sometimes it's about, you know, you're having to accept it first. Um, and sometimes people can be overly focused on trying to fix the issue and you kind of have to like make peace with it and the whole like accept the things you cannot change bit. But um, usually it shows up so that it can be healed, right? So Taurus is about what you have. Um, some of you may have been maybe feeling like you don't have enough right now or you're unsatisfied with what you have. Um, 
but it's kind of an illusion. You can expect a miracle, right? Expect that your prayers are heard and being answered. Something's on the way. I feel like something's on the way for some of you. It's coming in. Um, so believing that, seeing it, trying to raise your vibration to to live like you already have it. Um, I'm not saying live like beyond your means or anything, but like what's the deeper thing that you want out of it? If it's money, you know, is it because you feel like it's going to make you feel more secure? If that's so, then how do you feel more secure already? Like, how do you, what can you do to make yourself feel more secure before the money arrives? Then you raise your vibration and the money can come in and match it. So there's that type of um, advice and situation coming in as well. Definitely, you know, be mindful about how you're treating others, though, is um, an important message here. Okay. Because with this card reverse and, and those sort of cautionary warnings coming in, some of you might accidentally start being a little bit greedy or like trying to defend yourself is coming into my mind, right? Trying to like defend yourself, trying to take something, try, you know, being reactive instead of responsive and it's really important to continue to treat people with kindness treat people with kindness respect um, the way you'd like to be treated okay and then we had the three of swords come up as well so um, this isn't such a fun energy you know this is about <clears throat> heartbreak it's about losing something or having your hopes dashed um, so let me, let me clarify that card with the Zodiac deck. Leo reverse. No, Leo right side up. Okay. So, um, I feel like this isn't necessarily going to happen. It's either talking about something that's happened in the past and that you're, you're, healing from and recovering from this month um, and you want to be careful not to take it out on other people or it's something that could happen through emotional immaturity through childish behavior or letting your ego get the best of you okay instead it's better to have fun find ways to have fun um, that doesn't hurt anyone have fun with others in a way that does not hurt anyone um, follow your your pleasure, your passions. Um, it's a great month for art, for uh, creative visualization, daydreaming, creating music, um, listening to music, viewing art, all of that good stuff. Um, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bring, bringing energies. Yeah, you're strong, you're powerful, and you're connecting with others and what you are putting out into the external world is going to come back to you. So make it, make it good, positive energy. It's the message that comes through from the guides. Okay, again, travel um, might be coming up for some of you. Um, some, like, mental reworking, right? Changing your thinking, your, your thought patterns, and improving them to be more positive um, could also be occurring for you this month with this card. And this is about communication. So again, just be mindful of what you're saying and how it's it's going to come across. If there's a tone or how, you know how it's going to come across, um, but it is right side up working in your favor. This could be messages coming to you, information coming to you, you sharing your emotions with somebody seems pretty important here. Um, your feelings. And again, the second house uh, is a house of money, sure. It's also about your skills, what you have. Um, it's your possessions, it's your skills. And uh, so there can be healing that occurs in relation to that and how you feel about that. Wow, that was longer than I thought it was going to be. Let's get into the week by week. So weeks sometimes run together. These are approximate weeks. I'm going to do four we're going to use different decks here. We're going to do um, the Witch's Wisdom deck. I'm going to look at them first and I'm going to flip around for you. And we're going to do um, the White Eagle Medicine Wheel deck.
two wanted to come up for the fourth week. So what that's saying to me is you are earth signs, right? And this is a very earthy deck. Um, some of your earthy spirit guides, animal spirit guides, earthy type spirit guides, um, they're really going to be with you more than usual in this fourth week of October. So if you're interested in that, you know, you can get a spirit guide reading, look deeper into that, go into your intuition because you have that Queen of Cups here and that tells me that your intuition might be strengthened. You know, you can do astral traveling and um, <clears throat> meditations and all, th all kinds of things like that, dream journaling, really get um, more information and downloads than at other times for some of you. Okay, and then the tarot <clears throat> and the zodiac. Okay, the chariot here in the second week of October. So for some of you, you might be taking a trip or planning a trip during that second week. Um, the chariot has to do with travel and, and forward movement. So for some of you, it might be moving forward with a project or moving forward in your spiritual growth. For others, it might be physical travel to another place. Okay, so for the first week, you have chalice fulfillment. Water is strong with you. The element water and the element of air is very strong with you this month. And it's interesting because the sun will be in Libra, which is an air sign for most of the month. And then it's going to be in a water sign, Scorpio. So it looks like you're in harmony with the energies. You have the four of pentacles here. Um, keyword here is authority. You have bear as a spirit guide coming up in this first week of October, and black, find richness from the dark night. So here it's about, if any of you are heartbroken or you've gone through something that is challenging, you're feeling low in spirits, it's about seeing the silver lining and focusing on that silver lining, seeing what's good in the situation, and gaining more emotional fulfillment as you do that. Oh, stay tuned to the end because I have a couple more things I want to mention about um, about reading options and things. Okay, so bear and, and then that four of pentacles. Let me do the four of pentacles first. Four of Pentacles. Saving. Okay. This is about saving money, saving resources. Might be on your mind or you might be doing it. Might be a message from Spirit um, suggesting that you do that. Put something aside. Some of you might be saving money for Halloween. There, where are you? Okay, keywords for bear are power, wisdom, dreams, and vision. Yeah, really heavy water energy here. This chalice, fulfillment, and then um, talking about dreams and visions, the unconscious, the superconscious. Really very heightened for some of you this time. And it says if bear lumbers your way, it is telling you that you have the gift of insight and the ability to access your dreams and visions, provided you give yourself moments of meditation and quiet to discover them. You may have the gift of healing. This can come in many ways, but make sure you work on your own healing too. Remember, balance activity with rest. Balance activity with rest. <clears throat> Some of you might be working really hard trying to save money you know, make the money so that you can save it. Spirit's urging you to balance your work and your active, being active with rest and recuperation as well. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Let's look at that second week. Yeah. 
You have auburn, ground yourself. Earthy color. <clears throat> Chariot, conclusion. Pipe carrier. And tarot cards, guidance. Tarot cards, guidance. So some of you might be doing your own readings this time because you had all that intuition that was heightened right in the beginning of the month. You may be choosing to do that. Um, some of you might be getting tarot readings or oracle readings um, this time. This is divination in general and guidance in general as well. Um, all right, pipe carrier, chariot, and auburn. Ground yourself. So let's, let me look at the chariot and then the pipe carrier. So grounding yourself. You know, there's actual visualizations and meditations for grounding that can be really helpful and beneficial. Um, some of you might naturally, you might just know how to ground yourself. You know, you're an earth sign. Um, working with the color auburn, using that color can be really helpful and beneficial. Anytime the colors come up, using the colors, meditations, wearing them more, just however it resonates, bringing art into your home, whatever um, resonates can, can help you to align your vibrational frequency with that of the color and do what the message on the card is asking, okay? Um, but yeah, it might be a little bit cold for some to be out walking around barefoot, but not for everyone. So um, that's another way to ground yourself. Eating potatoes. <laughs> a lot of different ways to ground yourself. Chariot. Okay. So it's about it's about finding direction and moving in that direction. Okay, that's what the chariot's about. Um it's also about being receptive. This is receptive to your intuition, receptive to earth, just uh, heightening your receptivity in general at this time. Okay. It's like you're opening to receive something. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's information, if it's love, if it's money, resources, and experience. I have no idea, but you're opening yourself. That's how spirit's showing it to me. Where's my book? There it is. My eagle. Pipe carrier. This is grandfather pipe carrier. Okay. It says, my student, know that your first gift is to yourself to find time to meditate and reconnect with your true gifts. For us, this means a four-day vision quest without food or water to cleanse the body and the perceptions. For you, this could mean going on a retreat or seeking guidance from the spirit world. It is a time for being quiet, praying, and nourishing the spirit. If you need to heal em anemones or reunite with family or friends, the pipe also asks you for commitment, taking responsibility, and seeing things through. Okay, so um, you're being asked to ground yourself and connect with your earthy energies and be responsible to honor your commitments. You may be asked to make a certain commitment. Um, <clears throat> and you might be wanting guidance about this situation. You might seek out guidance and you might receive guidance. But ultimately, also, you have your own inner guidance. You know, you have your own inner compass. And it's about clearing away any chaos and debris from your mind, from your emotions. Um, finding peace, quiet, serenity, solitude, doing some meditation and connecting in with that inner guidance to receive your answers because spirit does want to deliver those answers to you. It wants to help you and um, I think it will. I think you're going to receive divine guidance and know what to do in any situations where you might initially feel um, like you don't as soon as you remember to ground yourself and do that healing work. Okay, third week of October. You have another major arcana card here. Hierophant, intuition. Wow. Cayenne, build your confidence. Spirit warriors. This is another um, higher card. It's another grandfather or grandmother card. I forget what it is. And then you have litha, intensification. 
So for some of you, this is about Halloween and the excitement of Halloween. Um, for some of you, it might be about other things as well, or instead, um, <clears throat> or in general, you might feel an intensification, like a, a building, um, an intensifying in your body, in your in your heart, in your soul, like your energy. There's an intensification occurring, you're building up to something, okay? Um, and it's something you can handle. It's something you're prepared for. It's something, for some of you, something that you've worked for. Um, so build your confidence, Cayenne. Build your confidence and allow yourself, open yourself and allow yourself to enjoy it. Get in touch with your intuition. That's a great way to help build your confidence because you, you'll, you'll start listening to your own inner knowing and you'll see good results from doing that and you'll realize there's no reason to have this fear and anxiety about these things. Okay. Um, let's check this out here found. okay so you might be asked to be a little bit more generous this week somebody might ask for a favor some of your time resources help assistance with something um, and somebody might not ask but you might sense that they could use it and spirit is asking you to be generous and give remember to treat others the way you want to be treated okay um you might be feeling a little bit vulnerable at this time there might be something unconventional coming up um and you've got that intensification as well let me see how the spirit warrior plays in Okay, it says, by calling, this is Grandfather Spirit Warrior, by the way, it says, by calling me, you are calling for protection, a shield. You may need to learn about protection, either in your physical life or from negative energies. This shield also brings you courage. It's not always easy to stand up for the truth or for what is right, while those around you are compromising or remaining silent for fear of authority or, for, or of what others might think others might think so you're being asked to stand in your integrity even if it makes you feel a little bit vulnerable um, even if it's going against the grain or the majority um, and you've got this you can do it you can do it okay I do feel um, an energy of like excitement happiness fun um, leading up to Halloween as well. It's just some other things might be going on. It could have to do with Halloween, but some other things might be going on in life um, at the same time, you know, that aren't really connected. Um, could be legal for some people, um, but it could just, you know, it could be about many different things. Could have to do with a committee, voting different on a certain matter you want. Um, you have to assert your what you feel in your heart is right okay um, for some of you there's that message there so let me see what we have in the fourth and final week fourth and final week you have the fool card emanation so this card is connected to the sign of Aries and for some of you it may symbolize an Aries Sun Moon or Ascendant Rising sign for others this is your energy this is about taking a leap of faith this is about following your heart um, it's about embracing your inner child, um, having fun, maybe doing things that are a little bit goofy, a little bit foolish. Um, what else do we have? We have ritual, invocation. Yeah, Halloween's coming up for some people like that. Halloween is definitely being shown shown here. Pearl, connect to the divine. For some of you, it might be Samhain too. It might be a spiritual time. You're connecting with your ancestors. And we have Fox. Alright, so this is another Major Arcana card. You had three out of four Major Arcana cards for the week by week. Um, you know what? The third week, for some of you, you might be more on the side of tradition than 
that whole like unconventional thing okay but just tr t trust your intuition whatever your heart and your intuition are saying okay and some people might you know be unconventional unconventional but you're like hey i i am going to accept them as how they are anyway i'm not going to let it bother me um or be petty or start a war with them or try to convince them that my way is right um tradition might be on your side so to speak in that third week of october whatever that means okay um awareness and trust keywords associated with the fool right um <clears throat> then we have the fox card i'm going to read Okay, fox, speed, cunning, and awareness come in as keywords, and it says, if clever fox has arrived, it may be telling you that you are being too noticeable and drawing the wrong kind of attention. Try to approach life more discreetly. Use the cunning and cleverness of fox in a positive way. Learn to observe without being seen, and use what you have observed to take control of the situation. <laughs> Some of you are just enjoying Halloween, right? And you're doing some sort of, like, I'm going to scare this person. I'm going to creep around and, like, spook them when they're not looking um, type situation. Don't let it get out of hand. I'm going to say as part of the advice here, remember in the beginning with that theme, we had cards really saying, like, treat others the way that you want to be treated. Don't single anybody out. Don't be mean. Don't, don't go to an extreme with it. Um, because this Aries energy is, it's fire, you know, it's very fiery, it's the first sign of the zodiac, it's the, it's the initial spark of life or of a star, um, new beginning, and it's just, it's not controlled, um, it's not harnessed fire, it can be reckless, okay, it's very important, it's very important, it's creative energy, it's, it's like that light bulb in your head, that spark of ide an idea, a new idea, um, or new passion. It's very important energy, but it's, it's the baby, you know, it's the very first sign. Um, so just hopefully having that understanding and awareness is, um, helpful. Okay. Moderation here and connect to the divine. Your spirit guides are still here for you. You're inner wisdom is still heightened you know you can connect with it through rituals sacred ritual um for some for some of you those of you who are into it spells and um all of the things connected into Samhain and um, so yeah Halloween definitely comes up Samhain comes up here with this ritual card location and it's just a message here not to be too reckless or inconsiderate of others, right? Try to balance yourself out. Don't forget to meditate. Take time for yourself. Connect to your higher guidance and wisdom. Understand it is a sacred day. It is a sacred time. Yes, it is about fun and play and adventure and getting a little naughty sometimes, right? Shaker highs and all of it. But you don't want to do things that you can't take back, that you're going to regret, that are going to hurt others. So keeping that balance is really important. All right, so the couple of announcements I asked you to wait for at the end of the video. First, if you would like to get the full read out of the booklet for each of your Witch's Wisdoms cards, um, I just, I didn't do it because I wouldn't have had time to do everything. It would have been a really long video. Um, so if you'd like to get that, done. I'm just asking you to make any sort of donation, a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can afford and request it. So the PayPal link is down below um, in the description as well. Just let me know that you're doing that and you know whether earth, air, fire, or water that you're requesting the read for. And I'll go ahead and, and do a video read um, for that and send it to you. And the second thing is if you want to get um, a reading for October just for your sign. So if you're 
for Taurus or for Virgo or for Capricorn specifically um, in my public Facebook group for my page and I'll put the link for that down below as well a lot of links this time um, join that group and it's ten dollars for each month and it buys it for the whole group so it's a nice way to do something nice for others too to contribute to a group that you're a part of and to get a little bit of recognition thank you and friendship from others um, possibly too so it doesn't go unnoticed everyone in the group who if you're a Taurus and you buy for Taurus everyone in the group who's a Taurus gets to see it um, and I don't know you guys could arrange to like switch off if you're really social in the group and you know make some sort of thing to um, have it make sense so you, you know you could listen to it potentially every month and only pay for it sometimes whatever works those are the announcements I hope to see you in the event Facebook event and really enjoy some fun Halloween stuff online together um, and that's all. Have a wonderful October. Bye-bye. Take care. Be well.